Hi guys from Unleash AI. So today we are looking at a new project which is uh, Crew AI, a GitHub project, GitHub repo, which is basically uh, a framework on uh, multi agents. So when we are are the independent actors, right, uh, powered by LM, uh, who are connected in a specific way, each agent can have its own LM prompt or any other custom code, so it can connect to the other agent. So what is the benefit of all of all this? So it allow it allow to uh, divide uh, complicated problems into the tractable units of work, right? Complex task to work together, uh, all agents work together to solve a complex task. So this is Crew AI, a, a, a very uh, organized, uh, a very organized uh, framework for multi-agents workflows. So this is its uh, sample code. I will show you in my Flask app. This is my Flask app for Crew AI. That is manual. I also will show you the auto thing. <clears throat> so these are the base basic uh, imports for that. And first, uh, it, to create the agent, we need these three important parameters, which is role, goal, and backstory. So you have to uh, write the role of the agent, the goal of the agent, and the backstory for the agent. And uh, this verbose is equal to true means you can analyze the information of LMs or any agent working into the terminals. And uh, allowed allegations means is equal to false, which means it's, uh, it stops its own creativity. So we don't need extra creativity. We need accurate good answers. And uh, this is LM chat OpenAI model I'm using. Uh, you can also change that model. And that is the second agent, which is the writer agent. Okay, and these are its tasks. Uh, that is for task one is for the researcher agent and the task two is for the writer agent and and the other thing i want to show you and now i want to show this is the crew part so crew what we will do is to combine the both agents combine the task into an array and the verbose is equal to means uh, it's a uh, logging levels you can debug it into different levels so you can also select it to one or two so two is the good number right and process sequential which means crew ai works sequentially like first you have to run the first agent and then the second agent it will run automatically after the first agent will stop which means when you run the research agent and when it gives the response then automatically the second agent will run which is the writer agent so now i'm going to show you my response my that's a html based web interface i created <clears throat> so first you have to select the model right i will choose gpt4 model and then i have to Name it the role. Researcher. First, I have to show the role. So first, you will. Uh, this is the three main things. If you are using the HTML, then you will uh, write form. If you are choosing uh, React JS or any other JS, JS method, you will choose React dot uh, React dot JSON. After that, same as with the writer roles, then the task descriptions, this will uh, dynamically fetch the information about agent, task, description, role, and goal, the verbose, elevation, and all these things. All right, so now get back to the our web interface page. So what I do is, research new insights. I will write, you are a research analyst. <laughs> we'll research about AI trends and its insights. All right. So now the second one. So that's how the first agent is created. Now the second agent. You are specialized. Content writer. Who write. Who writes blog post. About AI trends and insights. All right, so now the last one, you will research about latest AI trends and insights and you will write the top blog post about latest AI trends and insights. So you have to what I said earlier that they will uh, multiple agents can 
will will connect in a specific way in a in somehow specific way right so the ways will be the prompt the llm or the tools so now in my case i'm using the llm or the prompt you can see the task with the latest ai and the latest ai in the task one and the task two so what i want to show you is now when i click on the execute task There it is. Yes, there it is. So first it do. Do I need to use a tool? Yes. Why it said yes? Because we have already mentioned a tool part here. As you can see, I'm using the Tabeli search tool, which is a good tool for searching the internet. All right. If I didn't declare the tool, it will by default use the OpenAI API key to get the results and like just like chat GPT response, right? So if I didn't uh, declare the tool, then it will say, do I need to use the tool? Then it says no, and it will use the OpenAI response. So now give me a quick response here. Sponsing. You have to wait for some time. So now as you can see, the researcher give us the output. And now the writer agent will work. The second task. And it works sequentially, as you can see that. So now it didn't use the tool because it uses the research content, research agent content to make the blog post about AI trends and insights. And this is, I'm gonna, I thought this is our answer. This is the title. This is the uh, good response headings. Just the response, I guess that's the, that's the response we get. That's the heading, the quantum leap and, and AI complex problem solving. The some bosses of human aptitude of AI powers. So this is the response. So don't worry about the uh, font size. I will correct this thing. So that's, I wanna show you thing. So if you like this thing, uh, I wanna show you the code. So that's a simple uh, 10 to 20 lines of code. Basically that this is the main, this is the main code. All right, so first you have to dynamically fetch the data and then just uh, make it into the Creo AI. Uh, and QAI will merge all the agents, multiple agents, multiple tasks into an array, and then it will run sequentially. So when you clear this into the sequential form. All right, so if you like this video, please do hit uh, like button or comment or subscribe. It.